Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson Tonight. I'm Brian Kilmeade, once again filling in for Tucker while he enjoys a vacation with his family. Well earned. The most controversial battles of the 2018 midterms are being fought right now in, guess where, Florida. On election night, Governor Rick Scott had a big lead over incumbent Senator Bill Nelson for that Senate seat. But since then, a constant stream of votes in left-leaning Broward County and Palm County has appeared to chip away at Scott's lead. So it went from 40,000 now to around 15,000. There's plenty of reason to be suspicious of that as well. Now, Broward County has a long history of electoral problems. Let me refresh your memory. In 2000, they contributed to the Florida recount mayhem. Just two years later, a primary election in the county was a disaster with broken voting machines, uncounted ballots, no-show poll workers. 2003, they get their act together? No. More than 17,000 mail-in votes were returned as undeliverable. In 2004, county officials grossly mishandled absentee ballots, keeping thousands from reaching voters in time. It's only gotten worse more than a decade later. In 2016, the county was sued once again for mishandling absentee ballots and was also caught illegally destroying ballots even as a lawsuit over a primary uh, outcome was pending. The woman responsible for that is still in charge of counting Broward's votes to today, and that is mind-boggling. Yesterday on this program, Marco Rubio denounced the whole process for violating Florida's own election laws. Today, President Trump joined in on the attack. If you look at Broward County, they have had a horrible history. And if you look at the, the person, in this case a woman, involved, she has had a horrible history. And all of a sudden, they're finding votes out of nowhere. There's bad things have gone on in Broward County, really bad things. And the president's off in Paris now. Various members of the press, though, claim that simply by being concerned about possible fraud, it's the GOP, not Broward County, that is behaving like a banana republic. You actually have Republicans, Marco Rubio, in the fevered swamp of conspiracy theories. Donald Trump, this is third world. Can you be a little less obvious? This is third world country stuff coming from the Republican Party. I'm listening to Rick Scott, I mean, his primary evidence that there is fraud seems to be that his voter margin is going down, which would seem to be an indication that he's not getting as many votes as he would like. What we see proof of is the exact opposite of what he's describing, which is 